Even using an ordinary multimeter, or the multimeter that does not have the ability to measure capacitance, we can test whether a capacitor is operating properly or not. We will perform the test by placing the measurement in the area for measuring resistance and choosing a range of about 1 to 2 mega ohms and connect the probes or measuring cables to the capacitor terminal. Don't forget that before connecting the multimeter to the capacitor, we should short circuit the contacts of the capacitor because if the capacitor is charged, it could damage our multimeter. And now we connect the measuring cables to the capacitor contacts and let's see what appears on the display. The resistance practically grows and increases until it reaches infinite resistance. It is a process that instructs us that the capacitor is operating properly. Why did we get infinite resistance? We know that the capacitor in a DC current is actually an open circuit. The instrument is powered by a battery source of a direct current and it represents an interruption in that circuit. So, the process of increasing the resistance is the process of charging the capacitor. So, we can conclude that this capacitor is operating properly. We will also try this bigger capacitor, meaning a capacitor of higher capacitance. So, what we must never forget is to check that the capacitor is not charged. Wow! Here we see that this capacitor was charged, and if we connected the measuring cables to such a charged capacitor, there would surely be damage to our instrument. Now that the capacitor is empty, completely empty, we can connect the measuring cables. We will pay attention to the display. We see that the resistance is growing, the process is a bit slower than with the previous capacitor, because now it is a capacitor with a higher capacitance than the one before. The previous one, the one just had 8 microfarads and the big one 40. So 5 times the capacitance and because of that this charging process is slower. So we expect an infinite value when the capacitor is charged. We'll wait a little longer. This capacitor is full, the instrument is showing infinite resistance. If you short circuit now, there will be no spark as before, because the capacitor is charged with a much lower voltage. Here you see there is no spark, because the capacitor is charged only by the voltage of the battery that is in this instrument, and that is some 9 volts. A similar test can be performed with a multimeter with a moving coil. So let's take a look at that as well. Here is a multimeter with a moving coil. We will connect the capacitor and see the pointer turning all the way to the right and it gradually returns to the left side, that is to infinite resistance. It is the process of charging the capacitor and based on this, we can conclude that the capacitor is operating properly.